Well, I tried to record a conversation on Zoom with our summer interns, Ashley and Sam, and it turns out I recorded only the audio. After three years of Zoom, I still don't know how to do it, apparently. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put their pictures up on the screen here so you can at least see them, uh, and I'll play the audio so you can hear them share the answers to a few questions so that you can get to know them uh, a little bit. I'm so excited to have them join us this summer. Um, here's a little opportunity to hear from them. All right, I've got Ashley and Sam here who will be our summer fellows, summer interns. Uh, this summer, we're really looking forward to having them join us. Ashley's from Whitworth University up in Spokane, um, but hometown of, of Vancouver, officially. Yeah, Vancouver, uh, Washington. Sam is a uh, hometown of, of Lafayette, California, so somewhat nearby, but goes to Cal Poly currently. Um, and their bios are included in the email with this video, so you can read a little bit more there. But I just wanted a chance for people to get to know them a little bit better and, and uh, so you can hit the ground running when they show up in June. It's hard to believe it's almost just a little over a month away. Um, Ashley is graduating on Sunday. So congratulations to you, Ashley. Um, I know that there's a few things to do between now and then. So we're gonna keep this short so you can get back to it. Um, so I've got three questions for you. And the first one is uh, something that you like to do that perhaps only your close friends or your family really know that you, that you love, um, that may or may not be in your bio. Um, and we'll start with Sam. Um, I guess just like reading and also just kind of my interest in apologetics. I guess that can go hand in hand. I like reading apologetic books. Um, so yeah. Awesome. And I think it's okay for me to say that you're a good friend of Gadebo Chapman. Yep. Um, that will, that will make a connection for some people because they all know Gadebo. Um, and you guys have, have done a, uh, led a Bible study together for, the guys on your running, uh, in your running it's cross country and track or just track. I can't remember. Track, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty, that's great. How about you, Ashley? Um, I really enjoy doing research on law related topics. So, um, kind of on the same vein, I really enjoy reading really dense legal books. Um, I think it's really intellectually stimulating and I just love learning. So everyone at this point is thinking they're going to find you guys buried in a book most of the, <laughs> the summer. Um, and I <laughs> just, already know enough from talking to you that you might find you out on the levee or the canals running or um, enjoying the outdoors too. So uh, uh, good variety of things I know that you love to do. Uh, the second question is, what is something that you each are looking forward to about the Sacramento area as you think about coming this direction? Um, I would say... Oh, Gadebo was telling me how he likes to kayak on uh, either the Sacramento or American River, one of them. I don't know, maybe both. But I don't know, definitely I've never been to any of the rivers up there. So just chilling on the river, kayaking, whatever it is. Sounds fun. Ashley? Um, I don't know too much about Sacramento right now, but I'm looking forward to just experiencing what it's like to live in California for the summer and I'm looking forward to the weather. Nice. Uh, maybe we'll have to, I'll have to go kayaking at some point. You can actually start in the American River and end up right down um, about a quarter mile from where you guys are going to be living um, and, and pull the kayak out there. I've always wanted to do that. I haven't done it yet. So let's make that happen. That'd be fun. All right. Last question is a time or a place in your life where, where Christ became real to you in some way. We'll start with Ashley this time. Um, so not to get too personal, but um, I struggled with my mental health a lot last spring. And in that moment, I was angry and frustrated. So I kind of turned away from Christ. And I think he has a way of just like reeling us back in, which I find really um, humbling and amazing. Um, so I, I think during that time when I was turning away, I just felt this voice inside of my head saying like, just turn to God, like it's going to be okay. And so 
despite not doing that, I think throughout my life that summer, he really just pulled me through. I mean, I was in one of the most detrimental semesters of my college career and he really just carried me because that, that wasn't me. That was, that was God. Thanks, Ashley. Appreciate that. For sure. Sam. Um, I, I think just kind of end of senior year of high school or start of senior year of high school. Um, just kind of, I started going to this Bible study that one of my like old soccer coaches led. It was him and a few of his um, like former or current athletes at the time. And that's kind of where I started just my personal relationship with God and um, was just kind of been on, I feel like an exponential um, faith journey, growth, whatever you want to call it, like from there. And it's been um, just yeah, great ever since. So I think that's kind of like the first time where my faith became real in my own. That's great. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. And of course, our hope as, as you guys come here um, isn't just for you to do ministry, but to also receive, you know, the grace of Christ, chance to sort of rest in that. Um, you, as you're sharing, Ashley is remembering uh, one of my favorite authors, Henry Nowens, says that the most effective healers are the ones that recognize their own woundedness, you know, in the midst. And uh, so important to um, kind of come from that humble place. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for sharing that. Both of you, I um, I know that there are, you will find people in this church that will be a great encouragement to you and that, and for whom you will be a great encouragement. Um, and I really appreciate you even in this busy season for you, for you both uh, taking the time to offer a few, few words. So, so go in peace and so the rest of you who are tuning into this, thanks for tuning in. Peace of Christ to you as well. Thanks again.